What up, what up, Nico Luminous here. I'm gonna help you uh, figure out how to drag the MIDI pattern out of machine. I know um, that can be pretty frustrating sometimes. There's a couple things going on with that that you gotta handle first. Um, so I got a little, little pattern here. Here's my drum pattern. Oops, oops, wrong one. Here's my matter, pattern I made in machine, real simple. So, these are your two tabs to drag it out down here. Oh or down here. Now this is audio, that little waveform, and this is MIDI. But before you drag it out, it's gonna drag it out to multiple MIDI tracks. It's a total pain in the arse. So I gotta go input, oops, group. Okay, so up here, there's this little plug thing, and then there's this thing. Then it goes input, group. Now MIDI, you have to slide that to active. Okay, so that basically means the machine is sending, you know, uh, MIDI to the uh, piano roll. But then also you have to right click on your kit, sounds to MIDI notes, boom. Both of those things have to be checked off. And then you can just drag your MIDI pattern. Bam, I just hit no. It seems to work fine without the tempo, dragging the tempo information. And then also you, what you wanna do is, you're gonna play it, right? It's gonna play just great. It's actually double playing over itself. So here I just click on a new scene. So this is empty. And uh, here you go. Once again, this uh, this works for Ableton too. Oops, let me just zoom in there. Get rid of the machine. So now we just have it in the piano roll, which is sweet. I'm gonna loop that. Pull up the piano roll here. And so. So this is the cool part. Now I have all the machine drums here in Logic's piano roll, which is way easier for me to work with, I'm sure, for many of you. But I like sketching it out in machine, actually. I like playing it with my fingers. But then once I get a uh, you know, pattern together, I just drag it into Logic, and there you go. Cool. Hope that was helpful. Later.